Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Harley. I mean, this is my um, most important force and rehabilitation center video of Diary Week, week Three. And today, I just want to talk about like what I'm afraid of because um, there is one thing that has been stuck in my mind today because um, I've been through a lot with failure because. Um, Back then, I was really smart because um, I started um, kindergarten when I was around four years old. And then by the time I was like going into my junior year of high school, um, I wasn't as smart as I ever was because I do have a learning disability, which is um, Asperger's syndrome, which is a mild high functioning form of, of autism. And when I think about failure, it makes me feel like like I was nobody. And um, I thought, I think about this sometimes because I was thinking about negative things that came back in the past, like after my mom's death of cancer, like 14 years ago. And uh, failure to me is just that, it's just negativity and not following the instructions and not knowing what to do with yourself, you know. And um, luckily, I was one of the of this family. Well, not Wilson Warforce, but my family, my real family, to graduate from high school. And I dropped out of college when I was like twenty one, community college that is, because I was having a lack of academics support and stuff. So. Um, I was pretty much a, like a party girl throughout the community college. I was a fresh, I was a freshman at Taiwan Community College, but now I dropped out almost six years ago. So yeah, and um, what I do think about is positivity because positivity um, tells you the instructions on knowing what to do in your everyday life, and positivity means that. Ignore all the negativity that you had in your life after what I've been through over the past 27, 28 years of my life, you know, so. And um, my mom was my prime example because she told me not to give up on my dreams. She told me not to give up on my goals. She told me not to give up and just walk away from the negativity. And also my auntie, who was my mom's sister, she told me the same exact thing, but... Um, She's a really hard worker. She's a cosmetologist. And um, my mom and my auntie are my two prime examples because um, they're both they're both working girls, well, working women. My mom is actually two years older than my auntie, you know. So um, rest in peace, God rest her soul, her soul to my mom. So my auntie, she's still alive. She's about to be in 54. On April nineteenth, I I want to give her a happy, an early happy birthday child to her. Um, um, I just wanted to like express myself because um, right now I'm doing a really good job of materials handling. Right now, it's my third week here. Fourth week is next week, and um, I gotta do, I got I gotta get myself together. You know, I just gotta. Learn how to stock the, the cheese, the um, let's see, um, the salads and the milk. So I'm gonna learn how to do that next week because I'm not gonna forget that. So um, yeah, um, Cassie, who is my materials handling instructor, she she's my. I consider herself as my best instructor ever, next to Steve and Sandy. I want to give a shout out to three of my instructors who are the best, even though they just, um, I don't know, I'm not going to say anything negative to them, to all of them. I'm just, in my opinion, they are the best instructors in materials handling at WWRC. So. And also, I want to give a shout out to Will Ashton, who is my, um, my only friend. I know him from prep, like, back in April 2017. And now it's uh, March 2018. I know him for the past like 11 months now. It's been it's been 11 months, but next year will be like a year now. So um, I'm very happy about myself. So, and I'm getting it. I'm still having a tutor on Monday. So yeah. <clears throat> so back to um, what I was 
Bills here. Like, well, I don't think about failure as much because uh, failure is not my option. So it's not. So I think about passing. I'm still thinking about passing my CRC test with two silvers and one gold. If not, then I was going to pass it with three silvers. If not, then two silvers, one gold. So, um, I'm really excited if I pass my CRC test, which is Career Readiness Certificate. And I'm really happy. I'm really happy because um, I'm moving forward with my fam- with my life. I am still keeping contact with my older brother, my younger brother, and my older sister-in-law. Even though she has been calling me, I'm, I still love my older sister-in-law, by the way. Um, she's 28, so. And, um... Three weeks has been great, but I got to do a lot more. It's, been, it's going to be over the next year because my prediction is that I'm going to be graduating either in March or June of next year, which is 19, so 2019. And um, I'm really I'm really going to keep on training. I can't give up my dreams. Hopefully my first job site will be probably like two weeks or more. I'm not too sure about this. So, um I gotta wake up a lot more. So what I want to work on is like getting my morning routine done every day, such as like taking a shower, take my medication, um, put my clothes on because I did my laundry um, today for the first time in a, a couple of months. So and um, yeah, life at WWRC has been going really well. You know, I miss I miss my school. I miss my I miss being here. To be uh, to be honest with you, I miss being here because I made so many friends who are really one hundred percent supportive. I made my I made my instructors feel proud of me, especially with my counselor Kevin Ray and my daughter's counselor Miss Holiday. And going to WWRC has been the best decision I've ever made. So. A hundred percent. If you're out of state, if you're in Virginia, or if you're in Georgia, just please come to WWRC. If you have a learning disability or something like that, or a, or a physical disability or mental or whatever, please come to the school. The tuition has been paid for. The food has been paid for. This dorm has been paid for, including the other dorms like Carter Ashley and Barnett. And um, everything has been paid for by the dogs counselor or every other out of state counselor or something like that. So um, next week I will be doing my CRC test on Wednesday. Um, Monday, well, I heard it's going to be like a winter storm watch in effect in here, so I probably might not get into the materials handling classes on um, probably on Monday because of the increment. What I mean the um, the inclement weather. I think they're having like snow probably on Monday, Sunday night going into Monday morning. So I 100% think that the school will be closed due to inclement weather, such as snow. So um, stay tuned for that. <clears throat> um, what else I should say? Um, I got this um Coca Cola drink, which is the Coca Cola Zero Sugar. It tastes really good, so I'm gonna drink it right now. So. Sippy sippy. <laughs> I like taking sippy sippies like this. Just like Bunny from the Gravery Art Girl or something. I love Bunny. Shout out to her. Anyways, that's all you guys. I'm going to go um, spend some time at lunch at 5.30 and um, stick around because I'm going to be doing another video diary next week probably on the same day or probably earlier than that. So I will give you a week four update on Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys on my next video diary. So bye guys.